Welcome, everybody, and, and thank you for joining us here this morning. Uh, I'd like to begin by thanking the Lions Club District 8 who applied for and was awarded this grant from the Lions Club International Foundation that has allowed the Emerging Viral Threat Laboratory here at LSU Health Shreveport to be the recipient of three critical pieces of equipment needed to expand our testing. We're really excited to receive two of these items here today, which will get installed over the weekend. As you can see, they're here to my left. Uh, those items are the Integra 12-channel Viaflow uh, Hera Thermal General Protocol Microbiological Incubator, which actually isn't here just yet, but this LutzBots 3D printer is here. Uh, and actually, both of these devices really do perform critical functions in the EVT lab, which is making a huge impact here in our community and, in fact, all of North Louisiana so that we can test for the COVID-19 virus and prepare ourselves not only for the current situations that we face today, but perhaps any of the other threats that we may face in the future. Importantly, we're honored to have representatives from the Lions Club District 8 with us here today. And first, I'd like to introduce Terry Harkey, District Governor, who spearheaded this effort with support from her husband, Scott. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be here and to be part of this um, exchange, as if it were. You know what? We're married. So, and uh, I, I just want to tell you that Lions Club International Foundation, without hesitation, sent this money. Uh, it's not a matching grant, it's an emergency grant. Lions International Foundation has, uh, this isn't the first time they've done this for uh, not only our area but our state. Millions of dollars went after Katrina and thousands and thousands of dollars during our flooding in 15, 16. So they're, they're very aware of our needs here in this part of the world and I'm privileged to have been able to write this grant and, and have it immediately enacted for us to be able to provide this equipment as fast as possible. And uh, in a few years from now, this will be the district governor. My turn, term ends in June. And uh, she is uh, in, in encouraged at the process and how we found these things. And we appreciate uh, uh, my husband, who has done all the legwork, Scott Harkey, past district governor. She's our second vice district governor-elect. And I'll tell you, if you want to be involved in your community, if you want to help in any emergency or just something that you know needs to be done, join the 1.5 million lions around the world and become a community with us to help our world. I just want to wrap up on behalf of LSU Health Shreveport and thank the Lions Club. Um, we need to remind our community that dealing with COVID-19 is a marathon, it is not a sprint. And without supporters like the Lions Club who recognize that even an institution with all of the strengths of LSU Health Shreveport, it does take additional resources for us to continue to provide free testing, to keep working on a vaccine for COVID-19, and to deliver everything possible to this community. So on behalf of LSU Health Shreveport, we thank the Lions Club and all of those in the community who have come forward to support our efforts, and we ask that others will join them moving forward. Thank you.